Okay, this video is to demo uh, the Nintendo DSL digitizer here. Uh, right now, I have it plugged into the Arduino, uh, simply wired in according to its wiring directions. Uh, that I have plugged into my laptop here that's running a WinForm application um, that's basically listening on a COM port to the data that's coming out of the Arduino. Um, so when when I drag my free finger across here you can see that it lights up because what it sees is the X and the Y coordinates for my touch and it also sees the amount of pressure of my touch um, and so it draws a circle at that position and it draws a circle as large as the amount of pressure that I'm touching so when I'm not touching it's basically not doing anything um, so when I drag from left to right um, and top to bottom, from one corner to the other corner, it draws it the whole time. Um, I got the code for both the code running the DSL digitizer that's taken from Adafruit's original code. I made some changes to eliminate some of the uh, extra data that they were sending across. I have that uh, attached using a COM port to a WinForm application that's basically just listening and then graphing the data. This is a WinForm application that I'll have um, on my GitHub uh, repository and I'll also have the code for the changes with the uh, Arduino code running the DSL digitizer so if you have one of these they're super cheap they're twelve dollars for it and the uh, this breakout board that makes the pins really easy to access um, so they're super cheap and it's just a great sensor and the things you can do with it are just crazy. I'm going to have it as um, the touch screen for my Raspberry Pi camera so I needed a way to set up so that I could look at the data coming through it and figure out how to make basically button listeners based upon the X and the Y coordinates of pressing on the screen. Thanks for watching. Uh, both both projects will be on my GitHub repository, and I'll post links to it. Thank you.